And then I'm going to um, say, um, everybody find a journey cloth. And they'll be... Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, this looks cool. I've never had so many people in an either deal in run. I'm telling them, cloth... Everybody find a journey cloth. There, there will be two or three people at each cloth. Okay, um, Neo X is going to be the uh, caller. So essentially, <laughs> let me just... Uh, Let me just explain uh, for the listeners here what's going on. Like we discovered last time, every time you press a um, cloth, the door will light up to show which symbol corresponds to the cloth that has just been pushed. Then when you touch the door, it will show a sequence of sy symbols indicating the order in which they are supposed to be pushed. The s which cloth is which symbol is different in every instance of the age. And the sequence of symbols is different every single time you push the door. So you're going to have to write that down or something. And basically, um, so what Neo is uh, going to do is establish which cloth is which, and then tell everybody when to touch it. Okay, well, first thing we need to do is make sure that um, everyone, uh, every cloth is manned. We have someone here. There's no one at the cloth at the top of the stairs. Oh. Okay, um, c copycat and I will go. Copycat and I'll go. Um. Okay, we've got someone here. That's uh, Seraphim. Oh, I thought that was Copycat. No, that, yeah, no, I'm standing somewhere else now. Copycat is at the top of the stairs. Seraphim is here. Um, I don't think... Okay, okay, we've got... Janim, or however you, pr you pronounce that, at the back of the... This is the one. Uh, right here. Gazebo. We've got several people standing <laughs> around this one. Two. This is two. Is this two? I don't know. I, don't, I can't see the door because I'm walking around, so... I'll push it and he can say what that number is. And we got several people here, so I think we're covered. Yes, we got someone here and someone over there as well. That's Dustin Valor. Okay, Neo is now making sure that we know who is actually in a position to press a cloth. Copycat shouldn't have done that. Because if we have multiple people dealing with the, the same cloth, then, well, Neo is going to get confused. Because they'll have too, much, too many names. Okay. Now we're just apologizing to each other. It's also not very productive. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have to say, I'm impressed with how well the lying is going, actually. It's not too bad. 
Okay. If you guys got sorted out, sorted out yet up there? <laughs> yes, uh, Dustin Baylor's going to do it, and Copycat and I are going to go back to the door, so we can go through the door. Okay, yeah, because one of the annoying things Oops. in this age is that the door takes a very um, short amount of time to open and close again, so you have to um, hurry, okay. Okay, so now basically Neo is telling everybody who, um, who the push their cloth so he can uh, establish who is who for which uh, which cloth is which symbol and which person is standing there uh, somebody just disappeared banjo just um, is away from keyboard I still see banjo here um, well he's <coughs> he said be right back and he's crouched down but okay. he's not at a he's not at a at, at a, um, a um he's not manning one of the cloths anyway. Then it's not a problem. And you've yes. got to remember I've got the font size of the chat set relatively big, so things scroll out of uh, my view right. rather quickly. Oh, <laughs> I'll jump um, in it out. Oh, uh, Neo. Uh, copycat is not at the cloth. Yeah. Copycat is not a cloth. I wanted to say at a cloth. <laughs> ah. Did you hear that, Copycat? You're not a cloth. You're actually a person. Um, man, there's so many people here. Do you have a good view? Yeah, I'm just telling people what I'm doing. Um, Well, if he still needs to uh, download Uru at this point, then he is a bit late, yes. Let's see who we've got in this corner. Got Fire Blaster, Inifus, and Musert, <laughs> who is waving. There are seven cloths. Okay, he's getting ready to do it. Okay, we're just gonna see if uh, everybody uh, is covered. Okay, we've got two. You can see in this way, this is actually a very nice way to do it. Uh, yeah. You can see the, each symbol is bigger than the last, until the last one, number seven, is the entire yeah. symbol. You know what we forgot to do? No. We forgot to tell people what to do if <laughs> once they go through. Oh, I think that should be pretty obvious to most people. Well, meet back at the neighborhood? Yeah. Um, actually, I, I will say that. Wait, wait, wait. He's going to start. He started. <laughs> Okay, so the door has shown the sequence. It's just called seven. Okay, and what you see now, seven was pressed, this light on the door lights up. Now five was pressed, so five lights up. Well, the, the second one lights up, basically. Four? Wonder if we're gonna get it in one. Two? 
And six. And finally one. Go? Oh, there we go! It. In one attempt! That is very good. Are, we, are you going through? Yes, I am going through to show what happens. How exciting! And, well, if you've ever been through a journey door before, this should be familiar. If it wants to load. Ah, there we go. Yes, we have two more wedges to collect. No speech from Yisha, of course. And do remember to touch the symbol on the wall to collect the wedge. And it didn't do anything for me. Are you sure you clicked it right? I did. It lit up. Oh, I have the same problem. Oh, oh there it goes. It took a while. No, mine... I touched it and it lit up. Maybe I, I should have waited until it lit up to touch it. No, it doesn't light up until you touch it. Oh, well, I didn't get try it. Try it again, uh, otherwise. What do you mean, try it again? Try touching it again. It's not letting me. Oh, okay. Well, I got it. And since I'm filming, that's the important part, so I can <laughs> show you it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Nora, uh, but we've got to be practical I here. I know, I know, I know. But uh, maybe other people, what it will happen to other people. And, um, and now you back. might wonder... Um, what the hell happened to my pillars? It's because we're not entirely filming this in the correct order. And we have our extra wedge over here. This half wedge um, that's above the uh, ring of for the four main ages. Of course, we've got another one to collect. But in order to do that, we're going to have to gather everyone in another neighborhood to go to the other Garden Age. And first, S we have agreed to meet back at the uh, our normal neighborhood, so let's see if people actually heard Be that and do that. Before you before you do that, are they the top two wedges? Are they the top wedges? No, they're at the right above the, uh, the, the bottom one, the second rung. So I did get it. There's one there. Okay, maybe just a graphical thing then, that you didn't see it. Oh, good. Okay, meet back at the neighborhood. All right, let's see if anybody actually came back here. Oh, yes. And we just have to say, well done, Neo. Definitely. I'm having trouble with the apostrophe in his name. <laughs> and you know we had a long discussion about apostrophes. Uh, it's because my keyboard layout uses dead yeah. keys, and uh, Uru doesn't like dead keys. <laughs> Neo's game crashed. Um, is Neo? Is he here? Yes, he is. Oh. Whoops! Bounce. Isn't there, isn't there an applause? No. Clap. Yep. Clap. Yes, we're clapping for Neo. That was an expert door run, if ever I saw one. 